he's got in it. What? Bodies. You couldn't fit a body in a little bag like that. You could if you chopped it up. Come on. Where are you going? Ellie! Miss India might be in there. No, she's not. She's out shopping. How do you know? I've watched. She always goes out on Thursday for ages. the other window then. <laughs> but I don't like it here. Can we go now? I've got to find out what it is. She doesn't look very Indian. But everyone calls her Miss India. Hey, maybe she was married to a Raja. She's married to Mr. Snower. No, she's not. He's her brother. He's weird too. Always carrying that black bag. I wonder what he's got in it. Stolen goods. He's a burglar. Don't encourage her. Mum, have you ever been inside the house? Mm, no, I haven't been asked. Well, we could ask her here and then she'd have to ask us back. I don't want to be asked back, thank you very much. I need to heard it first and then I heard it sort of ticking. A clock? No, too loud for a clock. A bomb. Who's that? Skinner. He's giving me a lift to Scout Hall. A lift? On his bike. He most definitely is not. Greasy food gives you pimples. Your hair looks really horrible today. Douglas, come back here this minute. Ellie. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't know what's in the bag, don't I? Where'd he get through? Don't go in there. It's a small place. Oh, he does. No, I don't. Liar. Oh. Oh. Told you you shouldn't hit girls. And the snores, of course. But where are you going? My cubby. Better keep watch or Ellie will kill us. Evidence in the incinerator. She can't. She can't. She always says it before she goes inside the house. What does it mean? It's a password, a code or something. You are here. Snows could be dangerous. We've got to find out what they're doing. Well, the snows have been around for ages. 
They were here before Banksywood was even thought of. I thought they came from India. Oh, maybe a long time ago. The house must be pretty old. Why didn't they knock it down when they built Banksywood? <laughs> Not with old Mrs. Snoller around. I've heard she was a real dragon. Their mother? Hmm. She wasn't going to be moved however much they offered her. She did everything she could to stop the estate being built, short of actually blowing up the bulldozers. <laughs> I think they're making it inside the house. They wouldn't do that. What do you think Mr. Swell's always got that black bag for? You mean he's got bombs in it? What's in the bag when he comes back then? Stuff to make more bombs. What for? Well, the Snow's mum didn't want Banksy Wood to be built. But it was. So on her deathbed, she made Mr. Snoller and Miss India swear to be avenged. So first of all, they had to learn how to make bombs. Then they had to get all the material and keep people away from the house while they made them. But they're getting near the end now. How do you know? They've set up the timing devices. You heard the ticking. You mean they're going to blow up the offices of the people that built Banksywood? They only need one bomb for that. I think... I think they're planning to blow up the whole of Banksy Wood. Look! We've got to follow him. Don't worry, it's dangerous! We have to, he's a threat to security. You're going to be late to school. Day. I couldn't find you. Miss Hooks kept me at lunchtime because I was late this morning. But do you find out what is in Mr. Snow's bag? Yep. What? Hang on a minute, I've just got to get Anthony's telescope. But what was in the bag? Where did Mr. Snow go? Oh, really?
It's taken only be a minute. What are you whispering for? Um, Why stop meowing? Um, it's this. Oh, it's hurt itself. You're hopeless, aren't you? I am not hopeless. I've got more sense than you, Ellie Barton. Well, that's what my mother says anyway. Ellie, where are you going? Ellie, you can't go in there. Please don't. Oh, thank you so much. I thought I heard him yelling. He had a thorn in his paw. Oh, dear. Oh, it's all right, darling. What a kind little girl. There, 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 she can. What does that mean, Shere Khan? That's his name. Oh. I thought... Don't you know who Shere Khan was? He was a big, fierce tiger in India. A writer called Rudyard Kipling wrote about him. In this one was just a little kitten chasing butterflies. My mother used to say he thought he was Shere Khan. <laughs> so that's what we called him. Haven't you read the Jungle Book? You'll like it. I'll lend it to you. No, really, no inside. And if you're not out by then, not... one, two. Shake it. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was my own money when I was a little girl. Oh, my goodness, my mother was annoyed. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Shake it again. <laughs> Where's your telescope? Oh, uh, Tommy, this is Annie. She took a thorn out of Shere Khan's paw. sun flashing on the lens but just couldn't work out what it was you see until my brother had this bright idea my brother had it when he was a boy it's been put away for years We knew you were just playing. My brother used to always be looking at the stars, weren't you, Tommy? But now he has his nose in a book every minute of the day. It's not my fault. She said she found out what was in Mr. Snoller's black bag. She knows too much. They won't let her go. What will they do to her? Brainwash her. Them all. Of course not. That isn't the point. Why not? You explain it to Ellie, Tommy, while I make her some iced tea. Iced tea? Well, you do like iced tea, don't you, Ellie?
for every book there is one of these cards. I go through the book and on every 16th page I go through the first 16 lines and I count the number of ands and I write it down in this column. And then I count the number of buts and I write it down in this column. And then I go on to the next 16th page and I do the same thing and so on to the next 16th page and so on. And then I put it on this pile here and I take the next book and I take another card and I do exactly the same thing. Why? I'm analysing the use of and and but throughout the entire canon of the English language. Every book written in English. That is my goal. It's going to take a while. That is why there is no time to waste. You want to buy a computer. I bet my dad could get you one discount. Oh, Ellie's just being friendly. She'll be all right. Tell her about the bombs. Bombs? What bombs? There's something awful in Mr. Snoller's black bag, Mrs. Barton. Ellie followed him. She followed Mr. Snoller? Were you born in India too? Oh, no. I was born in England after Mother and Father went home. I've never been to India. Never? but I shall be going. Probably next year when my brother's further on with his book. Yes, I shall go next spring. My mum's got a friend who's a travel agent. She could get you a special deal. You wait here. Hi, Mum. We had iced tea, and I can tell you how to make it. And I've got Rajan Kipling's Jungle Book, and we seem Miss Nolan's going to lend me some more books. And I said you'd introduce her to your friend Angela so she can get a cheap ticket to India. Oh, I hope Ellie didn't stay too late, Mrs Barton. Well, it's always good to get a phone call to say where she is. Oh, I'm so sorry. I should have thought of it. Mum! Well, it was very nice of you to have her for afternoon tea. Say thank you, Ellie. I've said thank you, Mum. Perhaps you'd like to come and have afternoon tea with us one day, Miss Snoller. Oh, I'd like that so much. Um. What about the bombs? There aren't any bombs, only books. Brainwashed. Mm -hmm. 